So welcome back to another video. I know some of you uh, might have wanted a stickleback update. So here I am in the morning and um, you can see here the tank. It might have changed a bit. Put in a few plants, some extra rocks, a few dens, which the sticklebacks really like. Um, they should be around here. If I show you that there. There we go. There's one. And um, today we'll also be feeding them some bloodworms here from the shop. Just little bloodworms that I bought yesterday. And uh, yeah. And so long story short, went out to the pond in my neighborhood. And um, turns out it got like pretty much it's getting drained. Like actively getting drained. Like there's a massive hole. Just like a massive hole and all the water is going in and it's getting drained. So I kind of tried to block up the hole. Like I slowed down the drainage. And I went around. You can see here we have a new tank. And guess what I got? I got a newt. A little, little newt there. I saved him from the pond. He's the only one that I found. I'm going to obviously go back and hopefully find some more. And save all of these little guys that are going to get eventually, you know, drained. Look at that. He looks pretty happy. And just beside, we've got the sticklebacks. I would not recommend of putting any small creature along with sticklebacks. They're very aggressive predators. And, um, so obviously I made him this little tank here. I made it in about, like, ten minutes. So it's now day two or three, and I'm um, going to be feeding him some bloodworms this morning. Two bloodworms a day, and they keep him going. And uh, here we have the sticklebacks. They've been doing fine. They haven't really changed at all, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take a really lively one. There we go. Right. No. Pop them there. No, he's not really good at seeing, he doesn't have very good aim, but hopefully it'll come with time when he gets bigger eyes. 